Hazardous materials label. I'd say we could use about a gross of those. There you are, Servo. I want to talk with you. Oh, hi, Mike. Oh, hello, everyone. I was just about to ask Servo here, what the Sam hell is up with all these signs? Quality, Mike. That's what's up. Have you ever stopped to consider the importance of workplace standards? Why, it's amazing we ever got anything accomplished with our lax ways. So I've embarked on a quality initiative to make us fully ISO 9000 compliant in all of our workplace labeling standards. But Servo, this is ridiculous. Uh, Crow, I'm over here. Uh, well, could you at least have put signs somewhere other than my forehead? I'm sorry, Crow, but you wouldn't want us to miss getting ISO certification just because of one little label, would you? This isn't about one little label, Servo. You've put a label on every single square of the toilet paper rolls. It's gone too far. Well, how else are we supposed to meet standards? This will take a little while. We'll be right back. Servo, you need help. Uh, Mike, could you please not stand on the label for the floor? Ah! It's a snap to have girls in the palm of your hand. It's a snap with new command. New light command holds hair down without weighing it down. We put a dab of hair cream here. The same amount of command here. Look. Cream, heavy, greasy. Command, light, clean, holds hair down without weighing it down. Want curls in the palm of your hand? Take new command. So I've replaced the labels with microdot identification marks that I can read, but they won't bother your precious human vision at all, okay? Good. Thank you. What about me? What about you? Yeah, hold on, the mads are calling. What's happening, sirs? Ah, Mike, discussing workplace safety with your little ones, eh? What a coincidence. Frank and I are just speaking along similar lines. Isn't that right, Frank? Right, Dr. Forrester. You recall, Mike, that we had to leave the upstairs portion of Deep 13 after that nasty little business with the nuclear reactor melting down. So now that we're down in the basement, mm -hmm. we... The Deep 13B Auxiliary <laughs> Command Center. Right, right, the Deep 13B Auxiliary Command Center. Um, where was I? Babbling endlessly, Frank. Mike, to make a long story short, some of the radiation from upstairs has leaked into the ductwork and is causing mutations in the local rodent population. The rats, specifically. They're becoming larger, stronger, faster. Exactly. So, logic dictates we must create a rat trap that is also larger, stronger, and faster. Hence, this week's invention. It's the new X2 High Speed Rodent Dispatcher. It'll lure in today's modern rodents with the tempty, salting taste of corn chips and then snap closed in a fraction of a second, ending your rodent problem. Hey, and they're guaranteed two years or 1,000 rats, whichever comes first. That's right. And if you build a better mousetrap, the world will be the path to your door, they say. Hence, to accompany the X2 high-speed rodent dispatcher, we have the X3 high-speed human dispatcher. Well, gee, Dr. F, how are you going to lure all the humans into it? I recommend you bait it with a remote control and a box of Godiva chocolates to ensure trapping both genders. What do you think about that, my spaced out consumers? Well, is that where the remote went? I was looking for that. Rodents of unusual size? Nah, I don't think they exist. Enough you two. My invention this week is a handy little device for those gifted with the talent of speed reading. You show-offs. Pro. I, I'm just kidding. <laughs> this tool will help you with the tiresome task of turning the pages in the book you're reading. It's called the page-flipping finger. 
Sure. Just because you can read fast doesn't mean you can turn the pages quickly. So now there's our invention to help you out. And it comes with an optional rotary head of pre-licked thumbs for those of you with alternative page turning habits. How about that? How about this, Mike? I'll pretend I'm impressed and we'll move on. What say? Now, while I go set up my new rat trap, Frank here will tell you about today's experiment. Thanks, Dr. F. Well, Mike, we've got a real tempting bit of bait for you today called Invasion of the Animal People. It stars John Carradine, who was edited into the movie after it was filmed, and Robert Burton, who wishes he were edited out. But first, a pair of tasty little shorts. Bon appetit! Oh, oh yeah, oh, oh, left, left, left. Oh, that's it. Oh, you're a miracle worker. Oh, man. Boy, Mike, that's way better than that Fukuoko 9000 you ordered. Oh, oh. 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 we've got movies! Oh, okay. hey.